Whether you're a large studio operation, a small production team, or anything in between, Dillette Flex enables less work and more flow by automating mundane, repetitive tasks so you can focus on storytelling. With thousands if not millions of assets in the system, Dillette Flex helps organizations document content to help content producers easily find the perfect live and archived media to produce rich deliverables. Hello again, and thanks for joining me for Season 2 of Quick Cuts for Dillette Flex. I'm Sharif Khan, host of Dillette Flex Quick Cuts and Solution Architect with Dillette. This season, we're getting back to the basics to introduce our SaaS version of Flex BAM designed especially for those smaller teams that need a basic turnkey MAM out of the box. Flex for Teams and Season 2 of Quick Cuts will be all about the Flex BAM user interface. The idea is that all the basics are already there for ingesting your content, editing, reviewing, cataloging, archiving, and finally delivering to multiple endpoints. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? All users will navigate to your unique Dillette Flex account URL in your favorite web browser. Once there, the users will log into the FlexMAM interface. The first thing users will see is the Asset Results column in the center, some navigational tools to the left, and some asset metadata previews to the right. At the very top of the page is the Elastic Search Bar, and to the right of that is the Notification button, Creation button, and the App Switcher button. There's also a Help button and a User Account button. Now, what we want to do is get some assets into the FlexMAM, so let's go to our App Switcher and look for the FlexMove tool, which is the button labeled Upload. Just click on this, and the FlexMove panel will open in a separate tab. At this point, we can select the correct inbox to upload our asset, if there are multiple inboxes. Otherwise, just go with the default options. Now, we just add an asset, or a few assets, enter some metadata about those assets, and then click on Upload. When we go back to the FlexMAM interface, we can see that we have a new notification. This notification is showing us the status of the upload and ingest process. Once an asset is fully ingested, we can now see all the metadata associated with that asset, and we could preview a proxy version of the content to the right of the Asset Results column. If you need to find an asset that isn't at the top of the list, you can simply search for that asset using the elastic search bar at the top of the page, or choose from previously defined saved searches on the left. As you type your search query, autocomplete suggests what you might be looking for before you finish typing. Not only that, the system will also recommend content that is similar based on tags. If the search returns too many results, you can facet down your search using a search filter or one of the predefined taxonomies found along the left side of the page. Once you've found your asset, you can double click it to see a more detailed view of the asset, its metadata, any review comments, clips created, and audio waveforms. Using your keyboard, you can start playback of the video proxy and set in and out points for a clip. You can also set a custom name for each clip you create. You can edit or add the asset metadata in this view, browse the technical metadata and all the child assets of the main asset, including any clips you've defined previously. Wizards are available to launch actions such as transcoding, reviewing, archiving, publishing, and other actions. And in the very last tab, you can also track everything that was done with or to the asset as an audit trail, just in case you need to track down what happened to a particular asset in your account. Thanks for joining me on this guided tour of the FlexMAM interface. As always, please remember to like this video to let us know it was helpful, and subscribe to the channel to get updated when a new video is released. We also want to hear from you. Please feel free to comment below on any workflow suggestions that would be useful to you and your organization, and tell us, you know, what would you like to see in your FlexMAM account?